Hi there, my name is Mary Ann Russell. Um, I had been a metaphobic for about 47 years. I'm 53 years old, I know I look young. Um, and it restricted my life. I'm not gonna go into it too much because most emetophobics know exactly what it is. You know, basically my life was restricted, didn't travel, didn't um, eat things, was really skinny. Um, didn't go to pubs, avoided New Year's Eve, avoided loads of things, had limited friends because they used to get travel sick and stuff like this, didn't like travelling, very, very limited life, didn't really get any jobs because, you know, when bugs came round, obviously you're going to lose your job because you're not going to go in. Um, really restricted life. I developed um, agoraphobia from the emetophobia. Um, I had that for two years. I still, I still was um, pretty much like that, didn't you to leave my house. I stayed in my house for basically a year and a half. Um, so anyway, I tried various things to get rid of it, hypnotherapy. I, basically I spent about £7,000 on various things that didn't work or temporarily worked. Some things helped, but nothing cured me. Right, right about now, basically, I'm doing the Fri I'm halfway through the Thrive program with Fiona, and um, I just took a leap of faith, basically. I'm very emotional. Um, sorry, I took a, a leap of faith, and um, sorry, sorry, sorry. And um, I decided just to come to Poland skiing. Um, I went in a plane, which was uh, difficult, but um, thinking about it beforehand was very difficult. Um, but on the actual day of it, I um, really put to action a lot of the actions that you do in the Thrive program, and it really helped. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm on the ski. I'm on the ski slopes, as you can see in the background. Um, today, I'm sorry. I'm crying. It's a very emotional thing. Um, oh, sorry. Um, today, I've decided not to ski because I was drinking last night, and I feel a little bit dizzy drinking and that drinking is a thing I don't normally do so that was a bit of a leap of faith um, feel totally okay everything is fine um, really enjoying myself really enjoying it and everything um, I'm proud of myself I'm still in Poland snowy weather um, I've gone out to a restaurant on my own now before I could never actually go to a restaurant because of the food being a metaphobic which I was um, I couldn't eat out um, I didn't trust the food didn't trust anything maybe there's a bug now I don't know how to switch the camera around but look what I'm eating can you see that people chicken wings and all that and it was probably touched by hand <laughs> you know what it's like um, no problem at all being alone is fine I used to be like I said before agoraphobic and a metaphobic. Stayed in the house for a year and a half, almost two years. So that's a great thing to have achieved for me. And if I can do it, and I was like that for like 47 years, you guys can do it. Um, you can do it. It feels like you can't at the time, but you can do it. It's, 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 it's gonna change your life. Don't stay like that. Don't stay like that. It makes me cry to think that there's still people out there like that. Um, I'm just over halfway through the book. I haven't finished the book, so I'm really excited to know how I'm gonna be when the book is finished. But anyway, this is me on my own in a restaurant eating food. Um, I'm gonna go for now. I'll give you an update tomorrow. All right, bye. Hey, I'm in a ski lift. Okay, so you can do it, I can do it. You can do anything. You can do anything that you want to without being scared. That fear has to go. Seriously, it has to go because <laughs> Sorry, I get emotional, but it's, it's, it's um, yeah, it's a bad thing that it, it, something can take over your life. And look, you can just find that you can do it with no trouble.